So what's up dudes, the tutorial you, you've been all waiting for, the portal tutorial, the great tutorial, the best tutorial, and this one, we're going to make a portal like this, and so it looks so as cool as this. Yeah, so we got a freaking giant portal in the freaking ground, yeah, on the freaking ground. Okay, let's go ahead and start. First you create a new comp, you, make, you name it portal, you just grab the blue PSD and the orange PSD. I, I put the link in the description for them. These are Photoshop files I, uh, we made in Photoshop. This is good stuff. Just try to use them well and just don't screw up with them. Yeah. Okay. So let's go and bring the blue portal, scale it however you want, make it a 3D layer, rotate it, uh, whatever, however you want. G grab your image or your super awesome. Uh, grab your image and put it there or you can use the way I'm going to show you how to make the fractal thingy for the portal itself and not the image looking through the portal first you go to uh, you create a fractal noise on the white side you create it go to swirly pump up the contrast to 150 the brightness down pump the contrast to about 170 or maybe 160 Maybe just leave it there. Okay, so it's perfect like that. I'll click the stopwatch for evolution. Time, type time, times 250. Yeah, good stuff. It's moving pretty good right now. Okay, so now this is the animation. I want to make our tint. Type tint, drop the tint, uh, go to blue color and the whites. And for the blues, a dark blue. Right there. And we're going to mask this out. Mask it. Right there. And we want to put it um, on top of this. We want to rotate, we want to make it a three layer. Maybe we want to just make it a three layer first and that's, then do the mask. And it's going to just uh, three layer rotation 90, or maybe minus 90. Let's put it there. Scale it up. Right there, there we have our portal. Now that we have that there, we want to apply to uh, uh, just leave it there. Mask this out right now. And there we have our super portal. Now you go to the portal where you wanted to put it and you apply glow to it. Let's erase the glow in here. So I put a glow here that was not necessary. We'll apply a glow to the final portal. We're going to set the radius to 25 and leave it there like that. Right there. Okay, perfect. Yeah, we have a portal. Good stuff right there. Or, as I said before, we can use the image right here. And we can use the image. For the case of the image, that's why I j didn't use the glow for the final one. Uh, you have to use the glow first on this thingy over here. On this right here. And then you go ahead and just leave it right there. But for the case of this, you just apply the glow to the final betrayal. And there you go. Okay, perfect. Now let's go ahead and just... Uh, I'll show you how to make the portal realistic. You drop a drop, sh you put a drop shadow on, opacity 30, uh, 40 or 38, distance to 10, 10 to 15, softness 20 or whatever, down like what's over 20 or something, and so that it looks realistic like this. Your final 
uh, effect should look like this. And it's rendering, so. Yeah. So that's a little bit about how your effects should look like. It's a preview, it's not just a complete render. So I hope you liked your uh, your freaking portal. I hope you liked it. You look. Uh, I hope it looked realistic for you. I hope it just you use it for your videos well, and you don't screw up with it. Just do it, man. Just uh, liberate your creativity. Yay! Okay, I'm just kidding, right? Okay, dudes, uh, thanks for watching, and click here to see the final tutorial, uh, final project, I'm sorry, final, final video of the portal in real life we did, and, yeah, that's cool stuff. You know, like, a lot, the portal in real life final we did, so, we learned new techni techniques from portals, uh, after we did this, so, maybe the portal you're seeing now is gonna be better than the one you're gonna see in the video, so. Thanks for watching and just rock on, man.